So you have Windows 10 running in VirtualBox, but your screen looks like this, and you can't figure out how to make it full screen, and you're getting frustrated. This video covers how to fix that problem. So right now, we've got Windows 10 Enterprise running in VirtualBox, but we can't resize the screen. It's stuck at the small screen, which can get annoying. So I'm gonna log on here to our Windows 10 machine, and we'll walk through how to fix this. So let's log on there, and what we're gonna do is once we log in to the Windows 10 machine in VirtualBox, we're gonna go up here to Devices and do this Insert Guest Edition CD Image. So the way to fix this is VirtualBox has some tools, basically, that we have to install on the guest operating system. The tools are on this CD image. So when we, when we install these tools, it will allow us to do some dragging and dropping from the host machine to the guest, and it should also fix the size issue of the screen, which can be extremely annoying after a while. So here's the screen. I'm gonna click on Insert Guest Edition CD Image. And what this will do on the virtual machine, it should mount a CD. When this CD is mounted, we can run the installation. Let's go ahead and go to File Explorer and let's see if there is something mounted on the D drive. All right, looks like File Explorer finally came back, came up. Let's go here to my this PC. Here we go on the D drive, we notice is, which is the CD supposedly, is the VirtualBox Guest Edition. So let's click on that. And from here, we're gonna run VBox Windows Editions AMD 64. We are running a 64-bit operating system. And this should install here. For the install, you can just select the default. So once this is done, we should have drag and drop capability from the host to the guest and vice versa. And we should also be able, I'm going to select all the defaults here, we should also be able to solve the screen problem. So no matter what size we make the virtual box screen that the guest is in, it should take up that size. Again, you can just select the defaults, install. We'll go ahead and reboot. And once it's rebooted, we should be able to go into full screen. So let's go ahead and reboot here. So it's restarted. Let's log back in here. Looks like it's finally starting up. My virtual box, uh, my Windows 10 virtual box machine is running on a, on a standard hard drive versus an SSD, which is why it's a little bit slow. If you want to speed this stuff up, move the virtual machines to an SSD. And there it goes. It automatically went to full screen. So the problem is fixed. So now we have full screen. And if we move the screen around, it should automatically rescale. So that's pretty cool. I'll put the instructions beneath this video as well. Thanks. Take care.